Trendy Tresses new premium hair, human hair collection. Look at it. I've actually got the hair made into a wig. I'm wearing a closure which is 18 inches and then I have three bundles. This is a 20 inch, 22 inch and a 24 inch. Dude, I didn't do that actually. As it was a wig, I did it in the centre and I've just kind of pulled it to the side to make it kind of fit my face and that's how I kind of like it. A bit versatile, you know. I have actually never worn a wig and this is my very, very first wig. But I was really, really nervous because I normally wear crochet braids. So I was a bit worried about how I was actually gonna manage and maintain this wig. Like obviously, read the instructions that came with the hair, which actually tells you how to look after it, if, like spritz it and so forth. Um, also, loads of YouTube tutorial with tutorial. I don't really know what I was doing. So, obviously, so I got a bit of advice and so forth. Um, but yeah, it was actually really, really easy to manage. Now, I've spritzed it with water and conditioner in order to define the curls, so you can get like you can really see the whirls and the curl pattern to make it more defined. And it also kind of like flattens up the hair a little bit, so it's less voluminous. Luminous. It just it just looks so good and I've had so many compliments with it. It's oh I know I'm so just playing with it and not <laughs> the quality is really really good. It doesn't feel like it's been um treated with too like chemicals or anything like that. It just feels like as if I was running my hands through someone's actual hair that's grown out of their head, sort of thing. Like I felt almost naughty touching it because I feel like I should be like I'm stroking someone's hair, like they've just looked after it and just like treated it so lovely and that like, they put work into it. I haven't really let it go all that big and like voluminous personally just because I quite like the curl pattern and this is a bit more of a natural look like on someone like myself. It's really full, the bundles are a great size because as I said I've only got three bundles, I've got three bundles in and it's quite like nice, it isn't really really flat or anything, it is a decent length. As you can see, it goes uh, just beyond like nipple length. Uh, actually, yeah, it goes. Um, I think also maybe for me, I might get sh a shorter, um, shorter bundles. I was just being extra because I thought, do you know what? If I'm gonna like do this whole weave wig thing, I may as well just go all out and get the long ones. So that's what I did because I'm just eggs up. Um, but yeah, I think next time I'll probably get a shorter one, um, get shorter hair. The closure itself was quite full. One thing that maybe I should have done was maybe get like a slightly longer closure, just because then I would have maybe liked the layers a bit better, just me personally. Um, it's not like heavy or weight, it doesn't really weigh anything, like it's still quite light and stuff. You don't really notice that it's there. It's what you'd expect from, you know, good quality human hair. Like, look at that. Like, how can you not, how can you not like it? Nurse, the curls are quite natural. Like, what is this curl pattern? Is it, um, oh, what texture is it? It's like a, was it a 4A curl pattern, I think? Is that the right? 3C, 4A, yeah. One of those two. But, um, I haven't actually dyed the wig itself. Um, I've just kept it in this natural colour, which is like a natural black. It's like a 1B shade. Um, the closure is a little bit darker compared to the rest of the hair, but obviously with human hair, that's one of the things you can expect. It's not really going to be the exact same shade all throughout because it's natural human hair. I also actually decided to dye a piece of the hair because I just wanted to see how it would take to, the, to um, bleach because I like to have a bit of colour, a little bit of colour in my life. Like, but because I was a bit scared, I wasn't really sure how it was going to go, I literally like took just a tiny little piece 
and bleached it and here it is as you can see it took the bleach really really well um once i bleached it i obviously shampooed and conditioned the hair the hair has just gone back to its natural curls it's gone back to being really really soft it was like it it didn't get all ratty it didn't dry out it didn't cause the hair to get all brittle or anything like that so the hair doesn't shed um as you can like if you've been watching this video probably you'll tell that i've been running my fingers literally through the hair the whole time i've been talking but it doesn't shed and just to prove my point it's gonna run my fingers through it run my fingers through your hair sorry as you can see there's literally nothing in my hands shed free just how you like it i don't want to take it off <laughs> What I'm going to do for you is demonstrate what the hair actually looks like straightened and show you how well it actually takes the heat. So it's on the highest setting and I'm just gonna straighten the hair. Also with the hair being straight it actually shows you the length because obviously with curls it kind of sh the length shrinks. Okay. So these straighteners are not the best. So I could literally just sit here and be straightening and straightening and straightening for ages. One these are just rubbish and um, the hair is really coily so it will take quite a few um, runs of the straightener for the hair to get straight. As you can see the hair is the hair is quite straight, there's a few little kinks in it still because I haven't kept going because I just don't, don't want to sit here for ages. Um, it's actually kind of just looks like it's kinky straight now with the waves in it still. So you can kind of put off that look if that's kind of your thing. So what I'm going to do, just to show you guys how quickly and easily it can revert back to being curly, I'm going to go wet my hair and I'll be back. Give me two seconds. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, it's been about five minutes since I wet the hair. And as you can see, the curls have come back. Just add a bit of conditioner to define the curls and stuff. Um, but just for the sake of time and stuff. I'm just going to leave it as it is. This actually blends quite well with my natural hair as well. Um, that was one of the things because I wasn't really sure how I was going to get the wig made. If I was going to have like a U part wig or if I was going to wear the hair as just weave, like just bundles like normal. Um, so I was really worried. But I just thought with this kind of curl pattern, I've got natural hair, my hair's 4C. But um, when I do like a wash and go and I put a bit of eco style and I really get my curls defined, this is what my curls look like. So it will blend with your natural hair, if your hair textures like mine. If you don't want your hair to be really, really big, um, you could even probably get two in a closure. Like it works. Uh, and this can get bigger um, if I was to let it, sort of thing. Um, if I didn't have the curls as defined. So if you want the hair to be bigger and the curls are less defined, so to speak, um, just use less less conditioner spritz it but don't use as much conditioner and don't use as much um curling enhancer close up of the curl pattern and so yeah but that's just my review of the hair i would definitely recommend it i would definitely say go and buy it get yourself a wig made like i did or don't just wear it as bundles whatever you should do it do it do it do it do it you know the rock we rock into it do it do it do it Mm. Oh yes, oh my god, yes. If I could sleep in this, which you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, yeah, I would. Oh, it's one of those ones where it's like, you wouldn't mind your man running his fingers through your wig. No, jokes. Don't let anybody do that. Don't touch me.